Hi friends, this is Joe Renee Feeler. I have a group, a subscription group, where we get together several times during the month, some for the monthly sort of messages, transmissions. Um, we have a Q&A call, actually in April, I think we had two Q&A calls. And then today we had one of the um, practitioner group coaching calls. There's a big portion of our audience that are also fellow practitioners whether they're in the um, mental health space or therapy space, healing space, um, physical wellness space, intuitives, other psychic intuitives and spiritual experiencers that share their gifts. So the, the call is set up for those that either do that professionally or those that do that sort of in an unofficial undercover manner. Um, so yes, you uh, <laughs> real estate agents that are also marriage counselors, those of you that are hairstylists that are also therapists, <laughs> right? I see you, I see you. <laughs> anyway, so in today's call, something very unique happened and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. The recording will be available for you if you're interested, but what happened was there was, there was this prompt for us to really be curious about how we're, how we're self-defining who and what we are and what space, um, what industry even that we, we identify with and, and place ourselves in and make ourselves available to. So the idea, one of the threads in, the, in today's message, which was about 55 minutes, um, it had themes of Aristotle and the other Greek philosophers, Pythagoras, um, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, um, this notion that those, the beings that organized religions were, were designed around those individuals and their teachings. There were those individuals and their teachings, and then there were these systems that were built around it, which are in many instances very different than the actual beings and their philosophies and their ideology and their teachings. So, some of us feel like we are original creators and we don't have to place ourselves only in an arena or a genre of spirituality when in many ways our process is also like inventors like nikola tesla um, just ideas about anything whether it be science or philosophy um, humanity's updating itself and progression um, a cosmology and how this reality came to be and how it functions and how it adapts and changes over time in a non-linear transcendent fashion. So it was a very, very big picture, but incredibly reframing, uh, liberating manner. And I highly encourage it for anyone that knows of yourself as an original idea person, you you, you're not here to follow in other people's footsteps. You're here to lay down new tracks. And you do have an original perspective, an original opinion, and very original um, conceptions about, about some very important topics. Please just watch whether you're placing yourself in a, in a niche genre when you don't need to be. Um, it affects our language, it affects how we uh, position ourselves in the world and it very much shapes how others can see us right yeah so again the the distinction between aristotle and and yeshua was very very insightful as well so anyway go check that out if you want to it's on my roku channel just look for my name it's also on fire tv <clears throat> excuse me under my name i've been talking a lot this morning already and it's also on my website. Just look for the practitioner group coaching session in the premium portal and see if it's a match for you. By the way, the subscription is only, it's $9.99 USD up to $144 USD. So there's a price point literally for everybody. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs>